hey what's going on guys this is the second tutorial of CSS grid and in this video I'm gonna show you uh, some features of CSS grid like fraction units and the repeat function auto fit and min max function and the last but not the least that is implicit rows so today we are going to see these things in this video right so I have a simple container I have a simple grid and I have six items inside my uh, grid these are grid items and if you take a look at style.css I have a simple CSS that creates a simple grid which I'll show you here right the container display grid and the display template columns so these all things so let's save it and let's see the preview inside the browser so here how it looks so I have uh, given template columns the first column the width the width of the first column is 100 pixels and the second one is set to auto and the last one is 100 pixels and I have defined two rows inside the grid and that are 50 pixels uh, the height of these two rows are 50 pixels as you can see here and the grid gap is 3 pixels so here we can see how we can use the fractional units and the repeat function to uh, to style our CSS grid right so even you can see if you shrink it the first and the last one are 100 pixels wide and the the middle one is set to auto if you make it large right then you can see here the difference between these two columns this is 100 pixels wide and this one is auto right so uh, I don't want this to be auto but I want this to be responsive so what we need to do here is we need to define the fractional units inside the grid template columns right so let's say 1 fr 1 fr and 1 fr it means that you want equal columns regardless of the width of the container right when you save it and when you see inside the browser then you can see here these all are equal regardless of the container width when you make it large or when you make it uh, when you shrink it then you can see here these three columns are equal because of this fractional unit and you can see here the grid template rows the height of the row is 50 pixels we have two rows defined here these two rows are implicitly defined right if we add some more grid items inside this container then the uh, the height of the rows uh, may be varied right so I'll show you the I sh I'll show you in the later part of this video how you can define uh, auto rows inside this grid so let me use the repeat function here so these are uh, this is the way you can define the fractional unit for your grid template columns so this will take the uh, equal size regardless of the container width let me use the repeat function here so the repeat function actually takes two parameters right this is these are the two parameters the first one is the number of rows or your columns inside the grid and the second one is the value right let's save it and let's see the preview inside the browser you can see here the three columns are 100 pixels wide and you can see the difference here when you make it to 1 fr it will take the columns of equal size hence you can see here right uh, you can also use the repeat function in the grid template rows so you need to use the same function and you need to say the number of rows you have to and the the height of the uh, row let's save it and let's see the preview inside the browser you can see here right but we can do this in one line you might be wondering how we can do that you can do it easily right when you uh, inspect it inside the browser then you can see some CSS here when you inspect it right uh, I want uh, I want the 
the style of the container so let me select the container here right so I have a, 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 we have a property called grid template areas right uh, let me check one more time here grid template areas right so we need to use this function grid template areas to define the number of columns and number of rows in one line so let me use it here below this one grid template areas it will take the value of rows first divided by the column value right save it and comment these two lines the above two lines right these two lines we need to comment it we have committed out right grid template areas so I'll make the screen large so that you can see properly grid template areas then you need to define uh, two then you need to give two values here the first one is the repeat function of the rows and the second one is the repeat function of the columns let's save it and let's see the preview inside the browser uh, no it is not taking I think we need to use grid template uh, grid template I think we need yeah the function is grid template sorry I was uh, using wrong function we need to use grid template only this attribute I was draw to I was using wrong attribute inside CSS grid the the attrib the correct attribute is grid template so you you can define number of rows and columns and the width of the column and the height of the column in just one line you can use it in one line that the, the attribute is grid template so all you need to do is you need to define the grid template and you need to give the repeat function of the rows first it will take the rows value and next one is the column value so save it and let's see the preview inside the browser it still looks the same so here you can do it so hope you got it about the fraction units and the repeat function so the next one uh, the next attribute of our uh, tutorial is auto fit so the next one is auto fit right uh, here is the syntax for auto fit I'll use it here uh, auto fit right I'll copy it I'll copy this and I'll paste it here right so let me comment out this line grid template let's switch back to the original one grid template columns and template rows so here you can see when I use auto fit we'll see how it looks it auto fits to one FR right because we have defined one fractional unit it takes the entire uh, size of the width when you give it 100 pixels let's save it and let's see the preview it takes the 100 pixels only it auto fits the value or when you make it large right the items are appearing in one row you you can see here the change right the auto fit function auto fits the value auto fits the column uh, when the screen is getting large or when you shrink it it just it adjusts the uh, grid items into rows right you can see here the difference but you can mm, use minmax function if you want the complete responsiveness the minmax functions take two parameters the first parameters is the uh, 100 pixels we can define the 100 pixels and the next one is 1fr so when you save it when you see inside the browse when you see the preview inside the browser and then you can understand the difference right you can see here it takes the 100 pixels regardless of the screen size regardless of the container width right when you make it large you can see here it is completely responsive and it is taking minimum 100 pixels but it can take one FR right you can see here the boxes the grid items are uh, 
uh, adjusting itself so this is the use of minmax function you need to give two uh, values the first one is the minimum value and the last one is the maximum value and you can see here uh, this is the use of uh, minmax function now let's move to the uh, now let's move to the implicit rows the last attribute of our today's tutorial is implicit rows you can see here we we have to add some more uh, uh, some more uh, things inside our grid I'm not really sure about minmax function because I don't know much about minmax function I have used it inside this grid but you can explore more about it and you can let me know in the comment section below because I have not been uh, using this minmax function in CSS grid this is the first time so you can more you can know more about on some blogs on or on or you can read some articles right so you can let me know in the comment section below and you can see here uh, I have I have added some more items inside my grid right nine let me use uh, and paste it here 11 12 so we have 12 items inside our grid right 11 and the last one is 12 save it and let's uh, let's comment out this two this uh, uh, no not this one yeah it is okay so we can save it and we can see the preview inside the browser as you can see here the rows right when I shrink my screen the container size is less now the two rows the first two rows are 50 pixels the height of these first two rows are 50 pixels and the third row the height of the third row and the remaining rows are less when compared to first and row because of the implicit rows we have defined only two rows inside our grid you can see here repeat two 50 pixels we have only defined the height of the two rows it takes the height of two rows and the remaining uh, rows are of the height which is the height of the content right it takes only the height of the content the content inside this item so what if you want all the rows to be equal size of equal height you need to uh, use one attribute in CSS that is grid auto rows right and you can say I want all rows to be of same height that is 50 pixels so let's comment out this line and let's see the preview inside the browser then you can see here the all rows are 50 pixels uh, the height of these all rows are 50 pixels you can see here and then you can define using this attribute that is grid auto rows so hope you got it and hope you enjoy this video and if you like it then please give a big thumbs up and you can share this video with your friends please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to watch my first tutorial on CSS grid that is CSS grid create your first CSS grid so don't forget to watch that please subscribe my channel and thanks for watching this video I'll see you soon